love someone rising in Venus and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa. Also keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. So we have pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. We also have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. Could be dealing with a Gemini specifically. I tend to look at pay attention to the red flags as a page, swords, and tarot. How does Leo currently view this relationship? Oh, look. <laughs> okay. You got a Queen of Pentacles here. Capricorn energy with the Page of Swords here. Gemini. And then you got the Two of Cups. Cancer. In reference to how you're currently viewing this relationship here, it, it kind of looks like, um, you know, you might have some sort of trust issues, right? When it comes down to allowing people into your life or connecting with people on an emotional level. Now, I don't necessarily feel like you're rejecting this person and or even pushing this person away, but I do feel like every time you interact with somebody on an emotional level, it automatically causes you to kind of question their motives um, towards you. And I kind of feel like you're looking at this person like you, not only do you do care about this person and you love this person and you do want to establish a relationship with this person, right now you're just kind of unsure on whether or not they want the same thing. And I kind of feel like that's what you're trying to really figure out because it's like you're unclear. You're really unclear if, you know, if the two of you are just kind of friends or if this person actually wants something more than a friendship with you, you're trying to figure that out. You're trying to figure that out. You're trying to figure out if this person honestly wants to be with you or just be friends with you. And I feel like that's what you're trying to figure out. Because I feel like, dude, I feel like you want to pursue a relationship with this person, but this queen over here is kind of making it a little difficult for you because you're just like, do you want to be with me or are we just friends or what are we? I feel like you're trying to figure out, like, what are we? How does this person currently view this relationship? With Leo. Okay. Oh. Ax. Ax and you'll get a response, my friend. I feel like this person does want to establish a relationship with you. There could be a lot of fear um, behind this queen here. Oh, yeah. A lot of fear behind this queen here. Um, I do feel like this person fears that you might betray them or deceive them or hurt them later on down the line. And that's always a possibility. I feel like we're dealing with two people who have trust issues, to be completely honest. You don't necessarily trust the fact that this person really does want to be in a relationship with you. And I feel like they do. And they don't really trust the fact that you kind of have their best interests at heart. But I just kind of feel like the both of you are just kind of going with the flow here and just kind of seeing where life takes the both of you. But I will say that this person does uh, want a relationship with you. And I do feel like this person is being very sincere. All right, so there's that. Um, back to Leo. How does Leo feel about this relationship? So you got the hair font. You got a king of pentacles. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to throw you like that, the Queen of Wands. I really didn't. No tea, no shade. <laughs> oh, Leo. I want to look into this Queen of Wands just to make sure that there's no third-party situation going on. Because, again, this is this person's biggest fear. Is that you might betray them or deceive them. Oops, sorry. And again, you might have your doubts and your reservations about this person on whether or not they really do want to be in a relationship with you. I feel like they do. This could be like, it could be as simple as, you know, you're just kind of keeping your options open just in case things don't really pan out between you and this Queen of Pentacles. 
Although this is somebody that you feel a very strong spiritual connection to. You and this Queen of Wands, which I do feel like it's another person attached to you. There's no... The, the two of you are not even showing up as a true pair for crying out loud. Okay. Yeah. So, let, let's see. Tell me more about this uh, Queen of Wands, please. All right, this Queen of Wands doesn't know if they're coming or they're going, okay? Let's just throw that out there. This Queen of Wands, and maybe that's why you don't feel that connected to them, because they don't know if they're coming or going. They don't know if they want to invest into you or not. It's kind of like they invest into you when it's like convenient to them, like when they have time for it. It's one of those situations where it's not like they make time for you. It's like if they're bored and they got time to spend time with you, then they'll spend time with you type of situation. So I don't necessarily feel like there's anything serious going on between you and this Queen of Wands. And I feel like that's why you're kind of gravitating more towards this Queen of Pentacles because you honestly feel like you can establish something long term with this Queen of Pentacles versus this Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Dude, you don't believe this person, man. Jeez. I feel like it's this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is telling you that they really do want something long-term with you. And I feel like it's coming from a sincere place. I do. And I feel like on an intuitive level, dude, I feel like you know that. All right? I feel like you know that. But again, it's like you still find yourself having a very hard time believing them. It is a true pair. Dude, this connection, though. <laughs> Let's just talk about this. You got the queen and the king of pentacles. You got the hierophant and the high priestess. That is a true pair situation. The hierophant is the high priest to the high priestess. So the two of you are two very spiritual people here. I mean, I think it's safe to say that, you know, this is the one. And I feel like you know that. But I feel like, I don't know. I just, I just kind of see you overthinking things. All right, back to this person over here. How does this person feel about this relationship with Neo? Yeah, I feel like this is more so re I feel like this is more so re-emphasizing the fact that this Queen of Wands is not like how can I say this and not re uh, I don't want to get disrespectful. This this Queen of Wands is just not committed to you or this relationship with you. And I kind of feel like you, you, you know that, okay? I feel like you know that, my friend. Okay, it's like one minute they're there, the next minute they're not. You know, and I feel like you know that. I do feel like once upon a time you felt really connected to this Queen of Wands. But again, they themselves also cause you to overthink. I feel like you have a really bad habit of overthinking things, to be honest. But again, I feel like this Queen of Wands has caused you to kind of overthink things when it came down to this relationship with them because of the simple fact that one minute they were there, one minute they weren't. One minute they were investing time and energy into you, the next minute they weren't. And again, it's kind of like the way that they went about it. It's like, oh, if I have some free time or if I'm bored, we can totally hang out and get together. But I don't feel like they were ever really that committed to you. Oh, hold on. Okay, what actions will Leo take towards this person or moving forward? Okay, it's about time. Yeah. I feel like you're coming to terms with a lot, right? You're coming to terms with the fact that this Queen of Wands doesn't necessarily care, okay? They, I don't feel like this person really cares. I feel like whenever it's convenient to this person, they'll give you you know, their time and their energy. And when it's not convenient to them, they'll remove themselves from the equation. And I think that you're also coming to terms with the fact that what this person is telling you is true. This person does want a long-term committed relationship with you, okay? And with the world being here, this is you starting a whole new cycle, having that understanding that, yes, this Queen of Pentacles does have your best interests at heart. 
And you're also coming to this understanding that this Queen of Wands doesn't. And again, you're just choosing to start a whole new path between you and this Queen of Pentacles. And it is going to lead to a place of abundance here. And I feel like you know that. And I feel like you see that. And this is just you choosing a whole new path for yourself. And I love that. And again... Ending this relationship and severing ties with this queen of wands here. Because again, it's been revealed to you that they don't necessarily have your best interests at heart. Let me, should I say that? Should I say it that way? It, I don't feel like this queen of wands is being malicious or anything like that. I just feel like this queen of wands has other things going on in their own life. And again, it's like, I don't necessarily even feel like commitments on their mind. I don't, and that's fine. I feel like this Queen of Wands just really wants to work on themselves, but you're looking for a commitment, you know, something that could definitely lead towards marriage. And this Queen of Wands doesn't, doesn't got time. They don't have time for it. Sorry, they don't. Um, how does it, I mean, what actions will this person take towards Leo or moving forward? Oh, okay. So, they had two sevens, so this is them again, okay. So, seven, seven, seven. Oh. Oh, Leo. They got three sevens. That represents um, a gamble. Okay, so it kind of looks like, again, in reference to this Queen of Pentacles here, it does look like this person is, you know, starting this whole new cycle with you in love. So congratulations to the both of you. But then we got this one over here that wants to show up again. So let's look into this Queen of Wands because I feel like it's the Queen of Wands. I think it's safe to say that it is. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. this queen of wands is going to catch wind that you're giving and investing your time and energy elsewhere and i do feel like it's this empress that you're investing your time and energy uh into here and again i feel like you feel really good about them so like i said congratulations but then you got this this person over here the one that doesn't really want a relationship with you they want to come back together with you and work on some sort of partnership and again, I feel like the only reason why they're doing it is because they see you investing your time and energy elsewhere. Do I feel like they care about you? No, but they don't want to see you move on and go be with... Dude, you guys are a true pair. Look at that. That's crazy to me. You guys have the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You have the High Priest of the High Priestess, so Hierophant to the um, High Priestess. Then the Emperor and the Empress. I mean, if this is not the one, I don't know what else to tell you, okay? I don't know what else to say. But again, here they come back around to you, Leo, trying to work things out with you. And again, they're just doing it. It's not because they want to be with you or whatever, because they love you. And now it's like, you know, they have some sort of light bulb moment. No, it's not. It's just because they see you moving on with somebody else. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. So, just be mindful, Leo. Any advice for Leo in regards to this spread? Bam! All right, so basically this is talking about uh, what I just finished talking about. Release yourself from this Queen of Wands because this Queen of Wands... Just, I don't even want to talk about them anymore. Um, and then we have Attraction and New Love. There's a reason why you feel so attracted to this person. There's a reason why the two of you are showing up as a true pair time and time again. And I feel like you know that. And I feel like you're embracing this new connection with this person. So congratulations. Hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. Leave the Queen of Wands alone. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.